Uh, my presentation today was a meet the expert session about amyloidosis, diagnosis and treatment. And uh, this was um, a crowded uh, presentation. There were uh, 30 people at this uh, breakfast session and there was much interest on amyloidosis. This is good for rare diseases, of course. Um, we focused uh, on uh, diagnosis, trying to do uh, early diagnosis. And we also uh, uh, talked about uh, the possibility of screening in AL amyloidosis, which can sound strange in rare diseases. How can you screen for a rare disease? And uh, I, I think we could look uh, for patients at risk that are those with a monoclonal gammapathy of undetermined significance with a skewed free light chain kappa lambda ratio. We have very sensitive markers to use in that setting that are anti-proBNP for cardiac involvement and albuminuria. And uh, uh, I encourage the hematologists, and as I have done in other uh, occasions, of course, uh, to screen their patients for early onset of organ involvement uh, by amyloidosis in patients that they follow for MGAS. And then we moved to difficulty in diagnosis. Still, there are difficulties not only linked to late diagnosis, but also to difficulties in typing, because only specialized uh, centers have uh, appropriate techniques uh, for typing. Unfortunately, tissue typing can be done, can, cannot be done with regular immunohistochemistry because regular antibody uh, seldom stain uh, amyloidosis. So you need to have custom-made antibodies or, or use uh, immunoelectron microscopy as we do at our center or use mass spectrometry. And uh, this is the first need for referral centers that we have uh, uh, in this disease. So most patients need to be referred to a specialized center for diagnosis, for have a proper diagnosis. This is relevant because there is not only one type of amyloidosis, but there are many and uh, they have a very similar clinical presentation. So you need to identify the correct type of amyloidosis, be sure that it is caused by light chains, and then you can start chemotherapy. Otherwise, you are uh, uh, treating with chemotherapy a disease that is not cancer. And uh, there were many questions about that because uh, many institutions have problems with, that, uh, with these techniques, but also referral centers are growing in Europe and uh, uh, so they are being, they are looking for these techniques and these tools, and there are alternatives. So this was, uh, this was also good, I think. There were signs that things are changing, are changing and uh, luckily we have uh, referral centers also. Then we moved uh, to treatment. Uh, we discussed the role of, tra of transplant, the problem of the uh, frailty of our patients, uh, the role of biomarkers in staging, with, which is very important, of course, and uh, uh, new studies that are being uh, uh, concluded about uh, novel agents in AL amyloidosis, and uh, the role uh, and the timing for, uh, uh, of different, uh, different therapeutic strategies. This is a, a very interesting conference. Uh, I, me, I met very very, a lot of friends, very many friends here. I had the opportunity of discussing uh, uh, patients and uh, clinical case, and I, I am enjoying myself very much. <laughs>